Hi guys, it's Daniel here, and today we're going to do a puzzle which seems extremely hard, yet the solution is might not be what you expect. I can say that. So let's first read the problem. A game randomly generates a maze from an n by n grid by turning some of the sides of the unit squares into walls such that it is possible to get from any square to any other square through a series of moves. You are placed at a random square in the maze, and your goal is to land on a predetermined square, where you will be immediately informed of your victory. However, you are rendered completely senseless, with no way to know where you are and no way to know if a move you will make will bump you into a wall. Does there exist a predetermined series of moves such that no matter how the maze looks like, you will always be able to win? So, first you're given the coordinates of the predetermined square, then you get to write your sequence, then you get to... Uh, go through your sequence and uh, the question asks does there exist such a sequence such that you will be able to successfully get to the square that you want to go to so this star this yellow star in this case so first you can try the problem for yourself by pausing the video alright so now we're back and let's solve this problem so at first it, this seems like an impossible feat because you don't know where you are, you don't know where the maze is, and you don't know, you, you don't even know if you've run into a wall or not. So, if somewhere along your series of operations you run to a wall, for example, if you have you're in this position currently, the orange position, and then your series of moves includes right, 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 left, right, or something like that, anticipating you to at least move a little bit then uh, that's not very good because both your left and right sides are blocked and you have no way of knowing this. So how can it be possible for us to write down a series of moves to get you to your determined spot? Well, the answer, well at least saying it, is easier than you think. We simply just do it. But saying it is easier than actually writing out a series of moves. So let's investigate what we can do to solve this problem. So if we were to follow the vice of just doing it, well, then what we'd do is to first assume that you are in the top left corner. Because why not? You might as well have a chance of being in the top left corner. So this might be you. This might be you. And now what do you do? Well now let's consider the all the set of all possible mazes in an n by n square. Because there are a finite number of edges, there must be a finite number of mazes. So let's consider all these mazes, m1, m2, all the way to mk. These are all the possible mazes that you can create from an n by n grid. So since we've already assumed that our position is in the top left corner, let's just assume that what our maze is just m1. Because why not? Let's just do it. So assuming that the maze is m1, we make our series of moves left, right, we write down these series of moves up, right, right, down, etc. such that this series of moves gets you from the top left corner to the designated spot in maze M1. Now, if you win and you end up on the designated spot, then good for you. And we're done. But if we didn't win, then that means either our position, our initial position was wrong, or the maze we assumed that this maze was is wrong, so it can't be M1, so it might be M2. So now we've already made these series of moves. So now once, after we make these series of moves, we assume that the maze we are on is M2. Now on M2, we start at this initial position, and then we make the series of moves that M1 dictates, assuming that our maze is now M2. And now from this new location, let's say that the moves that M1 dictates gets you to this, uh, this spot in M2. Now we're in this spot, and now we continue to make a series of moves to get us to our designated square, assuming that the maze is M2. So this might be 
right, down, 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 left, up, up, left, 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 etc. like that. And now if we get to our designated square, then good for us, and we're done. But if we didn't, then that means M2 must have not been the correct uh, maze after all, so let's just keep on going and try M3. For M3, we first in our minds we go through each of the moves left right up to right right down da 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 right down 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 left up up left 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 da 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 and uh, see where we end up let's say we end up here and then now starting from here we make the series of moves to get to the designated spot assuming that the maze is m3 and now we so keep on doing this until we get to mk where we make where in MK, we first, in our minds, make the series of moves that we dictated with M1 all the way through MK-1. We end up at some square, and then we continue to make a series of moves to get us to our designated square. So, if if uh, our starting point was at the top, le top left corner, and uh, it was the maze that we had was any of these M1 through MKs, then... This guarantees that at some point in this path, we arrive at our designated spot, or our pre predetermined spot. So, given that we are on the top left corner, this sequence that we wrote down here finishes the job. However, we don't know that we are on the top left sequence, top left corner. We can be in any single spot that, like the game master wishes. So, if all of these series of moves still doesn't get us to our predetermined spot, then that means we know that the position that we assumed that we started with is incorrect. So now instead of doing in the top left corner, let's now assume that it's the top left corner and then one spot to the right. So now we're assuming that we start at this place and then we repeat the exact same argument going through M1, M2, M3, MK, except before we do this argument, we first go through all the moves that we dictated in the initial M1, M2, M3, all the way to MK. So this way, we end up at some other point, for example, right here, and then we go through another round of M1, M2, da -da -da, MK, making the series of moves, now, if our start spot was on the top left corner plus a move to the right at this square, then that means we are guaranteed to uh, go to our predetermined spot at some point in time during this new sequence of moves corresponding to M1 through MK. But then again, our starting point might not be this particular square, so now let's keep on moving on to the next one. Now at the next one, again, we make all the moves in in on our in our heads we imagine us making all the moves dictated by this M1 through MK and then by this M1 through MK and then we end up at some point on the maze and then we repeat for yet another round of M1 through M2 da -da -da MK. Now if we get to our predetermined spot then we win. Otherwise we keep on repeating, assume it's on the next we start at the next point, then assume we are at the next point, then assume we're at the next point, so on like that. Since it's an n by n squared, there's at most, there's exactly n squared different starting points we can use, so we only need to do this round n squared number of times. So only a finite number of times, which is good, because now once we get to the final round, at the n squared round, going through m1 through mk, we've covered every single possible starting point that we could have had, which means that during this entire sequence that I've said right here, at some point in time, we will definitely go through the predetermined square. So this sequence works and we are done. Hey guys, Long here, back another math video. Today we're going to be doing a question from Amy2, 2002. It's going to be problem 11. Uh, take a look at the question, pause the video if you need to, and I will go on to the solution. 